people always assume that I have like studio assistants running around like drawing these lines and stuff. And I'm like, no man, it's all me, it's all me. And they're just like, really? Like, yeah. Um, it's just what I do. I, I guess I'm a workaholic. Being so busy all the time and like producing work, producing work, producing work, there was always this great fear of, um, of just make, making it easy, you know. It's very easy. I was like, oh, I can make this piece. It's not a big deal. Um, and there, I think there was like a weird time about two years ago where things maybe got a little askew as far as work. I look back on some of those pieces now and uh, think maybe some of them, not all of them, but a few of them weren't uh, as thought out as maybe they could have been. I basically took a year off from any, uh, any shows, any, kind of, any, any of that stuff. Like I just kind of put all that on the shelf and kind of refocused like on studio discipline and studio habit. And uh, yeah, like looking at a lot of the new work now, I'm like kind of excited again. I mean, I treat what I do like, like a job. I mean, I really kind of approach it that way. And it's a job that, you know, I love very much and uh, I'm very happy to be doing it. Up in the morning to the studio and usually spend the first hour or so, you know, reading the news and catching up on correspondence and things like that. And then hope most of the time, hopefully most of the day is spent, you know, just drawing and uh, working on pieces. But I try to cheat, treat it like a nine to five. I think it's a good mental, mental way of uh, just keeping it going. I'll probably spend a month just drawing lines and cutting holes and, you know, fabricating this paper. Um, so they just kind of stack up. So if you'll come into my studio at that point, they'll just be like a stack of blank sheets of paper laying in a pile on the floor. And uh, during that time, you know, I'm just start thinking about what's going to go into them, uh, working in the sketchbook, trying to figure out these ideas and get them, uh, uh, get them flushed out. And then once I'm ready to start drawing, then I just kind of go nuts. You know, it's like a complete yin and yang type thing. It's like very mechanical, very, you know, uh, robot-like. And then I just kind of go berserk on them and kind of mess them up and have fun.